Hello, my name is Kimberly Olson. I'm the creator of FitKim.com. I have two PhDs in natural health and holistic nutrition. I'm a nutritionist, a personal trainer, and a mom. And today I'm gonna to share with you my spring break cleanse. And even if you're in high school or college or you, you're taking the kids for the you know 15th year in a row, I think that when spring break's coming, everybody kind of starts to tighten up their belt a little bit. They start to realize that Winter is passing, so more skin is going to be exposed and potentially you could be in a bathing suit. And this can be really scary for people. I, when I was overweight in college, I would be mortified to be in a bathing suit. I would never wear anything that showed my stomach. I would wear those skirt things that would cover my legs. I mean, it was just awful. So I don't want you to feel that way. So if that's how you feel or you just want to tighten up and tone up a little bit, try my spring break cleanse. It's actually really easy. It's nothing strict. Um, if you want something really specific, I do have a 15 day detox program that you can get on my site. It's on the right sidebar um, or you can find it, um, just Google it. So <laughs> that's if you want more step by step. But this is kind of a general guideline to help you cleanse before spring break and just kind of give you something to focus on to see results really quickly and safely. So these are, this is all I want you to do. I want you to avoid the following and I know it's hard to give some of these things up, but it's just between now and spring break and hopefully you see such progress that you can keep it going. First thing I recommend is eliminating gluten. I know, everybody knows about gluten-free diets, but a lot of people, and I think now it's much better, but the, the last time I checked, only 10% of people with gluten intolerance have been diagnosed. So nine out of 10 of you watching this that do have gluten issues don't know it. So this is an awesome thing to try to see how you, your body responds. Eliminating gluten between now and spring break. So gluten, you know what gluten is, but it's in um, bread, it's in uh, barley, rye. Um, it is in some oats and some brown rice, so just get organic with those things. But basically try to uh, uh, avoid any bread, or any grains, I should say, such as uh, wheat. That's what I should have said, wheat. So your pasta, your bread, your pita bread, your toast, your bagels. Um, if you like breakfast tacos, the tortilla that it's in, I know, it, it's everywhere. Pancakes, waffles, I mean, literally, it's everywhere. So eliminating gluten. Um, I follow a gluten-free diet just because, and you know, I have gluten here and there. It's not like, you know, I'm not gonna ever eat bread again, but I don't eat it, I, I very rarely. And I feel awesome. I notice a difference if I do eat more of it. So what the, the gluten is very, uh, it's very inflammatory. It causes inflammation in the body. And even if you don't have gluten intolerance, it is causing issues. I don't want to get into it right now. There's lots of lots of information on my blog um, if you want to learn more about gluten. But your first step is to eliminate gluten as much as possible between now and spring break. Second, we want to eliminate dairy. Again, I know everyone's going to be freaking out. But luckily, if you love Starbucks, they have coconut milk now and alternatives like that. I don't recommend soy milk, but coconut milk, you could have that if you just have to have your Starbucks. So dairy is also very inflammatory and it kind of causes us to hold some of that um, extra weight. Um, toxins like to store themselves in fat cells and there's um, basically milk and I'll get into that in another video. It's, it's denatured when it's pasteurized like that and I just did so much research on it. I know you're gonna see results with it, so just trust me on it until you can look further into it, but try to eliminate dairy. So there are so many alternatives out there now that should be a piece of cake. Even um, yogurt, now I've seen coconut yogurt. Um, all, all the milk's really easy to get an alternative for as well. Next is soda. No, I know, this is getting tougher and tougher, but you can do this. It's just between now and spring break. Soda, even diet soda. Actually, diet sodas, diet soda drinkers way more than regular soda drinkers. So not to promote soda, regular soda, but just to show you, it doesn't matter. Diet soda, regular soda. Um, I live in Texas now, so they call it soda, but I'm from Michigan and we say pop. So whatever you want to call it. Um, but we want to work on avoiding that between now and spring break, just because we just know all the things that it does to us. If you want something different, um, try my energy drink. It's a homemade energy drink you can make, it's awesome. Or try flavoring your water with fruit, like lime or lemon wedges. And then the next step is alcohol. So spring break is all about having fun, right? So I'm sure you'll be able to have some cocktails then, but try to avoid alcohol between now, now and then. Um, alcohol is just empty calories. And it's funny, if you think about it, you know, a little glass of wine, it, the serving size is five ounces. That's just over a cup. I'm sorry, but we have those big glasses of wine nowadays and we're filling that thing up. So it's a lot of empty calories. And then what I would recommend between now and spring break is to get some fitness in. Um, what I would do 
is because you want to be prepared for, um, you know, in the afternoon, all of a sudden you have an energy crash or you're gonna work out and you're really hungry afterwards. I like to always have a go-to snack. So what I do is protein shakes. So this one right here, um, I have a, I'll have a link um, below this video of where you can get this. It's called, um, this is pea protein. It's basically a vegetarian uh, source of protein powder, but it's by Nutrisuma. You've probably heard me talk about them, but I love it because it's clean. The ingredients are awesome and it tastes really good, but have a go-to snack. So what I do um, now with having two little ones at home, I mean, there are times when I am starving. Like I, I have, you know, the little baby and then the other one needs something and it's just, I'm starving. So my go-to is I mix this with almond milk and once in a while I'll throw, um, some ice in a blender with a banana in this. And if I can actually do that, <laughs> I have some free hands to do that. But otherwise, I just mix up one of these packets with either almond, almond milk or coconut milk or water and shake it in a shaker cup. And bam, I have a snack, I have protein powder, um, protein in my body, which is really important. And it's just a way to avoid some of those situations that happen either at school or work or you know, you're just tired and you, instead of eating cookies, have a safe snack like that. So get something like that, kind of a go-to snack that'll help you stay on track between now and spring break. Also, if you do wanna work out between now and then, um, if you go to fitkim.com, there you can sign up at the top or a box will pop up. There's a 30-day body makeover challenge that's free and every day I'll send you a workout. So if, depending on when you watch this, if you start it now, you could go through the whole thing before spring break. I mean, these workouts are 15 minutes long at the most. They're awesome. If you want some help with nutrition, um, get my 30 day meal plan. I just released it and you get four cookbooks with it. That I'll put a link as well and just follow that between now and spring break. And I'm telling you what, you are gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna feel awesome. Your metabolism is gonna be fired up as well and you're just gonna look great. So I hope that helps the spring break cleanse tips. And if you like this video, please subscribe at FitKim TV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitKim.com. Thank you for watching and until next time, make it a healthy day.